What's up, Jamers? It's the one, Jam, and today we are playing Gruel Aggro. It's not full-on Gruel Oil like we did it a few videos ago. This is a more aggressive build that kind of combines Mono Red and Red Deck Wins with a lot of the really powerful Ghoul cards that Green has to offer. Those cards are Evolving Adaptive, which gets bigger when we play our creatures out. We have Queer on Beast Color, which also gets bigger when we play our creatures out. Hajar, that's also huge by itself, a 2-mana 3-3, three, three, that we also get to protect our legendary creatures with, and a lot of our creatures are legendary like Felden Ronum Excavator, Miglaz Maze Crusher, which is an amazing card, Squeed Dubious Monarch, and Halana and Elena Partners. So we also have, of course, Reckless Stormseeker. We have, uh, of course, Squeed that I already talked about. A couple Lightning Strikes, not too many of them, um, because we're not a full-on mono red deck wins deck, and we're topping off with three Thundering Raijus and the two Halana and Elenas that we already talked about. So we're going to look to get on the board super aggressive, maybe get a 1-1 counter on our Phoenix Chick with Kumano faces Kakazan, and start winning the game that way. We have five Mountains, five Forests, Besteju Sokenzan, of course, Copperline Gorge, which is a major upgrade to this archetype from the new set, and a couple copies of Mistress Foundry. If you want to, uh, if you play best of three, and you would rather see a best of three sideboard, I don't have one right here, right now but i can make one if you want so let me know in the comments if you would like a sideboard for this so anyways subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more standard best of one content like this and it all starts right now all right i wish this rockfall veil was an untapped red but i'm going to keep this anyway all right second card i wish was an untapped red Sacrifice. Is this removal? I think I'm just going to play this out because they could have cut down. The Forge. I am a tad punished by not playing Beast Color on turn two, but I didn't want to get my Beast Color cut down, and this play plays around cut down. Oh, wow. This is really good with Forge. Well, good thing we have Lightning Strike. I also have no answer to this card. Like, they could still have cut down, so, like, cut down with the beast color is so bad. So, I'm just not gonna play this. Unless they cut down my etching right now. Oh, Voltage Surge. Okay, now I'll play this. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna block the forge with the one one, even though the even though this has trample. Yeah, I don't think one damage to them right now is gonna do much. Another forge? I don't know how I beat that card. Copper line, George. So this is gonna be a four one, four, five, six, seven. So I should be careful. If I attack with everything, I can die to like some haste creature, right? Four, five, six, seven. I died to, like, a lightning strike? I 
What is this? Oh, wow. Okay, so I was dead to that. I was gonna be dead to that, right? Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm at one. So I just need to kill them right now. I don't, I don't know if this is lethal or not. It's Exaxes? Oh my gosh, it's Exaxes. Whoa. We take those? We're going to keep this reluctantly. I don't love this hand, but... I guess it's good against a tap Graffine's tower. Ouch. All right, I guess we've died. Bankbuster? Get in there. Emperor minus. I'm not overconfident. So I have to go Stormseeker again. My judgment is final. I guess that's it then. Wow, playing out an Agandro, that means they have a 5 drop. Well, or have a 3 drop. I feel like you want to keep that card in your hand unless there's a second Agandro in their hand. Maybe they're thinking about casting a spell that they don't really want to cast, like a second Bankbuster. Not really sure what's going on here. Like, they, they're probably thinking about casting a spell they don't really want to cast just so it doesn't go to night. They are in the tank. They are deep in the tank. Ooh, they're not going to cast anything. Wow. I think I'll go like this, because if they have Make Disappear, then um, that's fine. Maybe they have another Igondro. They have a March Exiling Emperor. Sure. This would turn it to daytime if I cast this, but I think I'm just going to cast it anyway. They have Destroy Evil or something? Nah, if they had Destroy Evil, they wouldn't have marched. They would have just Destroy Evil the Miglaz. They have a Jace. Oh, well, they're going to tap out. Wow. I'll get this down then. And then hopefully I draw one more untapped land so I can go this plus this and win the game. Ooh, they're going to augury their bankbuster. That's pretty cool. They're playing they're playing Esper Planeswalkers or just blue white walkers. Oh, they had laid on arms the whole time, but they didn't have a third planes.
Not a land. I can go Miglaz plus give it Vigilance. And Menace. They could have made this appear. They're not dead. They're good. They go to four. Well, they don't have a removal. I, I guess. No, no, they are dead. They're dead because uh, Vigilance Menace Plus, they can only block the Halana and they take nine. They have to have a removal spell right now. Destroy evil. They would have destroyed evil to Halana but way beforehand if they had it. I think they just die. Yep. Sick. We will keep this. This isn't the best hand. But like... Double, double one drop, three lands in a Raiju. And then we have an answer to Shieldred. Copper line George mirror match. Hmm. I actually want to go queer on Beast Caller plus Phoenix Chick next turn. Because they're likely to play a two drop. Well, I mean, there wasn't a stop there, so I don't think they have a removal spell. So honestly, I think I'm just playing this now then. Now that I know they don't have removal. I guess they could have Lightning Strike, and they just go, like, play a land pass. Outland Liberator. I mean, I might not ever use this Rending Flame. I mean, I might. I probably, I probably will. Let's go ahead and do this. Probably not use Beseju. Stormseeker. That's fine. We have a really good chance at winning if they attack all here. We might win the game this turn. Three... Seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we can die in the backswing. So I think I'm just doing it. I mean, I might be, I might die because I have double Clark Lucian Forest here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not lethal. So I think I just have to hold the Raiju, the hold the Beast Caller back. I was one off, right? Nice. What are we doing with this hand? Mulligan? I think I'm putting back my four drop. Ooh, Kumano Mirrors. I play Adaptive second because I want the counter on Phoenix Chick, and Adaptive can get more counters, but Phoenix Chick can't. And when Kumano flips, it'll get a counter. And then when Stormseeker hits with three toughness, it'll also get a counter. Opponent goes one drop into one drop, one drop. So this is like real, the sequencing I just did was really, really, really good. All right, now I just need to draw a spell. 
I call upon the Thundering Raiju or Halana and Elena or Lightning Strike. There's a lot of cards that I can... Any creature I draw is good. Maglaz is good. They can't block with their Phoenix Chick. They also can't kill me. They have a Lightning Strike for Stormseeker. Okay, now not any creature is good. They have to hold the... Oh my gosh, they're attacking? Okay. Any, any removal spell is lethal for me. Halana! I called upon the Halana and we got there. But they're not dead. All right. Well, they weren't dead. <laughs> they were at one, right? Oh, well, we take those. I will keep this. Third path, gotta kill that thing. Do I wanna go Hajar Phoenix Chick next turn or go Stormseeker? Probably Hajar Phoenix Chick. What could they have here? Just counter spells? Or not? Okay, so they have nothing? Or like, their spells have double red in it? No, because they don't have, they're not gonna Brotherhood's enemy right now. They didn't do it. Well, they, I guess they could technically still do it. Okay, they didn't do it. Interesting. What could they have here? Wandering Emperor? Like, yes. I don't see them having sweepers. You know how to play against Wandering Emperor? Flood the board. I'm not going to target my Stormseeker because I don't want the, that to get Emperored. I don't want Hajar to get Emperored either. Run away. You'll be safer. Sure. I am almost sad to see you go. Wow. Good afternoon, good copper. How's it doing? How's it doing? What did I just say? How's it going? All right, here's where the lands begin. I have to cast this. I hope they don't have a sweeper. Going well, how's everything? Uh, depends on if they sweep me or not. <laughs> That's how it's going. That's not a sweeper. So I guess they could have I don't know what they can have anymore. Oh wow, they didn't attack with their Vigilance creature. Beast color? Okay, that doesn't do anything. I don't know if they're dead or not. No, they're definitely not dead. They're at one life. If they go block block, they go... They, they go to one. So I have to pump my... No, no, they don't go to one. They go to zero. Well, 
Unless they kill my chick right now. Odawara, my Raichu? They, they still die to that. Alright, my opponent was playing a little bit suboptimally then. Because they could have... They could have... Actually, it doesn't really matter. If they Odawara Thundering Raichu before combat... No, they should have Odawara'd it at the beginning of combat. And then I don't, and then I don't win. All right, we take those. So maybe it was their first time playing against Thundering Raju. I don't know. All right, it's time to evolve. That's not a card I wanted to see. I'm doing this not because I want to play this, but because it grows the adaptive anyway, and if they kill the Beast Caller, I'm sad. Ooh. No go for the throat. Liliana? Graveyard Trespasser. I'm going to reluctantly discard this land. Because I need Rending Flame for Shieldred, and I just need to hope I draw a land for this. Let's go! We drew the land, and we had the Rending Flame! <laughs> Rachel, you said gonna preemptively call the Never Punished? Never Punished! Not another Trespasser. Good thing I'm gonna get to attack through those. They're gonna have to chump block with the Trespasser. Happy trading. Okay. Crap. Crap. I mean, honestly, Archfiend of the Dross is smaller than the Shadow. I needed them to not have two creatures there. I need to draw any creature in my whole deck. Wait, even if I draw a Raiju, I can still use the, the Besaiju, so it doesn't really matter. I need to draw any creature not named exactly Helana and Elena. And I win. Thank you. I mean, this one's just game anyway. But even if it was a creature that didn't fly, I had to besage you for the land. Keep.
All right, I'm gonna stop. Can I can, can I stop drawing lands, please? Go for the throat on my adaptive. Unfortunate. I guess I'll take it. It's a spell. Okay. Maybe they have another go for the throat. So I should not play out my Thundering Raiju because if they have a go for a throat, then I don't want this to die. And I, and I also get to hold up Rending Flame for... Thank you. I also get to hold up Rending Flame for Shieldred next turn. Come on. Oh! <laughs> win this game I have no idea we have to no <laughs> we have to kill them uh oh alright here we go Alright. <laughs> okay. How do we win the game? <laughs> Please tell me I can win this game still. Please tell me I can win this game still. Don't catch the Eldred. Underdog? Oh my god. Please. No, not two creatures. Oh no. We died. Ah, it sucks. They had two creatures after that. Dang it. Dang it. We got so close. We're at five. We got so close. No. They're just flexing now. They could have just attacked me for lethal. Imagine almost beating two flexion obliterators. I think I'll keep this and hope to draw land and or a two drop. All right. That is a two drop. It's all coming up Millhouse. And a land. Sounds good. Perfect. Uh Stormseeker, I guess. And just like Hope they don't remove it. I mean I guess I should play around Brotherhood's end. So I should just attack. I don't think I'm casting this until they remove my board. Because I don't really have to do anything. They're at seven. Union. No. Oh, it's Mind Splice Apparatus. Right now my Rending Flame's useless. Well, now I know their only white spell is Union of the Third Path. So I don't have to worry about getting swept, but I do have to worry about getting burned down the house.
Freaking big score. Think I'm going Halana here? Crap. They drew into the Union. They should have cast Union before they cast the other thing, so they, they should be at 11 life. Okay, so they are playing Brotherhood's End. Hey, what's up, Counterman? We are going to grab a Thundering Raiju. Play the land first to play around syncopate, I guess. Maybe make them use the treasure. Or fateful absence. Odawara. Sure. I mean, they don't have mind splice apparatus yet, and they also haven't cast the X spell that draws cards. He says before they cast the X spell that draw cards. That's a good draw. I mean, they, they probably have a Mind Splice Apparatus. They cast Farewell. Well, that's pretty good for us. All right, I think this land means we win. If they don't have anything. Which they probably do. Okay. They have a braid. Down to three. Lightning Strike wins it for us now. They don't have a Mind Splice. They have a Jace. That is fine. Focus on the organic minds are easily quelled. So it scrutiny for two in response. Nice. GG's. All right, Jamers. Thank you so much for hanging out with this Gruel aggro. Um, it was a little bit better than I thought. Maybe I would take out uh, one card for like another lightning strike. Lightning strike was very good. Of course. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's, that's pretty obvious to say. And maybe I would maybe cut, cut one Phoenix chick or something. But uh, this deck was impressive um i got a, i got some wins the last second that i didn't think i was going to win some exact seize wins uh, but i wish i was kind of a little bit better against soldiers so maybe i would add a couple more removal spells anyway with that said go ahead and copy the deck list down in the description below if you do want to try this gruel aggro deck out for yourself and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more kind of content like this anyway let's go on to the next one and i'll see you over there and as always peace